This video is going to hurt your feelings if you are someone who's applying for the fall 2026 intake as a prospective undergrad student. Now, some of the activities that I'm going to mention in this video are only capable of being done by a handful of students and they are so competitive. And for that reason, each one of these activities won $250,000 and these students have then gone into getting accepted into some of the best universities in the US. Let's begin. Just remember that this is in no way any template that I'm providing you guys that if someone did the exact same thing, they're going to get accepted into the exact same college. That's not the point of this video. This is so that you can take inspiration and also understand what it really takes to get admitted into some of the best universities in the world. So we are going to take a look at some of the past winners of the Regeneron Science Talent Search and what they did to actually get in what their profile looked like, what projects they worked on. The first one we're talking about is Matteo Paz. Now this particular student worked on an incredible NASA project where he developed a machine learning algorithm to analyze NASA's NEOWISE infrared full sky data, discovering 1.5 new celestial objects. Now this entire project was done under the guidance, mentorship and collaboration of senior NASA scientists and he himself worked as a researcher at the NASA facility. Other than this, he was also the founder and president of his school's research club, where he helped other students get involved in research-based activities. He also served on this district's first unified student council and as a student assembly representative for his school board. Other than this, he also founded Money Matters, which was a freedom finance related podcast, which he did on the side. Again, a great extracurricular activity to showcase that you're not just doing all of the activities for the sake of your college applications. You truly want to make a difference in society, help those around you and basically educate and grow the society as well. Now, as you can see from these activities, majority of them are academic based and they are extremely impressive. But there are a few handful like the music one as well as the podcast that I mentioned where it's not directly related to academics but in general making sure that you're contributing to helping those around you and trying to make a difference in society. Now with these extensive extracurricular activities he's currently under the research staff at Caltech which is one of the top universities in the world. The next one is Achyuta Rajaram. He created an automatic method to identify decision-making components in computer models, improving the overall algorithm transparency and fairness. Now, what impressed me the most about this project was it was done as an individual project with no affiliation to any other university. Some of the other activities on his profile included being the co-head of the physics, chemistry and chess clubs in his high school at the Phillips Exterior Academy. He even grew the chess club from 3 to 30 members, teaching strategy, organizing tournaments, and being really involved in the process. Now, with all of these activities combined, he is currently studying at MIT, arguably the number one university in the entire world. Our next student is Neil Modgill, who designed a computational model to predict RNA structures using accessible data, facilitating disease diagnosis and treatment. Now, this type of work, guys, is done at industry levels with people who have PhDs in these subjects and this being done by a high school student is absolutely fabulous. Now his work was done under the mentorship of Dr. Aaron Frank at the University of Michigan as part of a STEM related program in high school. Now if we take a look at some of the other activities on his profile, they really are abstract and really creative. So some of the other ones that I found really cool included him being the captain of the varsity quiz bowl team and a program for his robotics team at the Saline High School. He was a teacher's assistant for special needs children, had a second degree black belt in Taekwondo and an avid rock and mineral collector since the age of six with hundreds of specimens around the world. Currently, he's attending the University of Michigan, double majoring in statistics and biophysics. The next one on our list is Christine Yi. She analyzed the gravitational waves from neutron star and black hole collisions using LIGO data, providing insights into mass and spin characteristics of astronomical objects. Now, I am not too much into astrophysics, but this sounds really complicated. Now, some of the other activities on her profile included being a member 
of the Pulsar Search Collaboratory, conducting Pulsar-related research and presenting the findings in conferences such as the AAS in Hawaii, and also being a published scientist, so publishing their work in the Astrophysics Journal as the first author, and even being part of the Stanford Astronomical Society. And currently, she's studying in Stanford University, majoring in physics with a concentration of astrophysics. And the last student in our list is Yun So Choi, who developed a mathematical model for matchmaking theory in infinite markets with applications in organ donation and medical residency assignments. You don't get to see this a lot where math related equations and theories are applied in the healthcare industry. So it's so refreshing to see a project like this. Now this research was conducted in collaboration with a Harvard University professor during her time under the RSI program. And with that, she's also studying at Harvard, majoring in mathematics. So apart from these high achieving students who basically won $250,000 each for the projects that they worked on in high school, I also wanna give a shout out to some high achieving Indian students that I found. Now, obviously these students may not have won that excessive amount of money, but they did stand out in their respective countries, wherever they were in the world to make some great com contributions while they were all in high school. The first one on our list is Arsh Shah, who developed a talk, basically a device that converted breath into speech for disabled individuals. He won third place in the embedded systems category at the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair. We have Ravi Pradeep who won third place in material science at ISIF for his work on plumeria blooms for organic electronics. Now I know a lot of the programs that I spoke about or mentioned are very specific to the North American regions. And since a lot of international students from all over the world watch these videos, I also want to call out and bring to attention some programs that may be available in India specifically. So the first one I want you guys to consider is the Irish National Fair. This is supported by the Broadcom and the Department of Science and Technology. This fair recognizes outstanding STEM projects by Indian students and the winners often represent India in international stages as well. The second one is the National Science and Innovation Awards. These recognize young scientists in India for groundbreaking work in science, research, and innovation. The third one on our list is Rashtriya Bal Puraskar. This one celebrates the achievements of young Indian students between the ages of 5 and 18 across various fields, including innovation, social service, and even sports. Now, these platforms may be more achievable as well as accessible to those students that are maybe not in the US, but nevertheless, most of the competitions that I mentioned throughout this video are eligible for all students. They just want to make sure that the project that you're working on has societal and communal impact and is actually tackling a real life situation that is a problem in today's world. So take inspiration from all of these projects. And if you're watching till this point of the video, I would like to know from you, what is one creative project that you are working on? You don't need to go into the details or specifics, just a blurb or a highlight. Put that in the comments below and I'll be replying to a lot of the projects as well. So if you have questions and doubts, you can ask those too. And if you don't know where to start, the best place that you can start is the Research Bootcamp by Incognito Blueprints. It's the perfect starter research-based program that happens once a year, and the enrollment is still open. So check out the link in the description, like the video, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.